Fold Gaming here. Today I'm going to teach you how to download the Drastic DS emulator for Android in 2025 because I find the Drastic DS emulator to be the best or one of the best DS emulators that you can download for Android. So first off, type in Files. Uh, then you're going to want to click on in, where it says Internal Storage. Go ahead and click on that. Create a folder called Games. I've already created a folder called Games. Now, if you have your own DS games, that's great. But for the purpose of this video, I'm only showing you how to download and use the emulator. But um, go ahead. You know, let me rename this real quick. I'm just going to rename this DS Games. Yes. DS games okay perfect it's, it's right here and as you can see I have my I have my own game in here so when I download the app it should populate the game so go ahead and go home uh, go on to your Google Chrome browser and the search type in drastic DS emulator download Let's hit enter. So you're going to see two links. You're going to see the first one here that says uh, Jurassic DS, DS.com. The, the second one is from Uptown. Both are completely fine, but for this video, I find the Uptown one to be a uh, faster download. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this one. And this is the second link. Let's go ahead and hit reject. Let's exit out of that. Uh, now this is the latest version, R2.6.4. Sorry, <laughs> R2.6.0.4a. That's the uh, the latest one. So go ahead and click get the latest version. Click on that. Hit reject all again. And then once you click that, go ahead and scroll down. And then this green one here. This should be the download. So go ahead and click on this. It's going to tell you that it's harmful, but just download it anyway. Okay, once it's downloaded, hit open. Go ahead and hit install. Now, when you do hit install, you might get a security prompt on your phone that says, um, hey, for security purposes, you can't download this. It'll give you a... Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a way for you to go into the settings and to be able to turn that off. The instructions will be on your phone. But, um, shoot, the thing went away. But if that instruction comes up, just go ahead and go into the settings, turn off the uh, app blocker or whatever, and then you should be able to download this. So I'm just going to click it again. I'm going to hit install. Okay, once it is installed, I'm going to hit done. Go back to the home. Emulator should be right here. Go ahead and click on that. It's Android 10, Jurassic World uses internal app data for saves. Okay, that's completely fine. It's just letting you know that um, the app's going to use its internal data, its app data for saves. Um, meaning that if you download an app, um, the app's data, uh, I guess the save data will be within the app config files, I believe. So just that's fine. Go ahead and hit OK. Uh, go ahead and hit while using the app. Install shortcut to your desktop. I'm going to hit no for that. And then the three options, load new game, change options, or exit drastic. I'm going to hit. go ahead and click load new game. Now this is basically telling you, hey, where do you want me to find the games from? Now we're going to click on where you created that folder called NDS games. Go ahead and click on that. And then you're going to hit use this folder. So whenever you have your uh, DS games, put them in this folder and um, the DS simulator will recognize the games. And go ahead and use this folder. Allow drastic. Go ahead and hit allow. So now this is the exact folder where your games are going to be in. Go ahead and click NDS games, Sonic Rush. Go ahead and click on that. Go ahead and start game. 
and the game should boot up. Now at the very bottom, now we strongly recommend not to play on save states. Okay, hit continue on that. So I clicked at the bottom here, uh, right between the B button and the uh, the down cursor. So right here, here are your settings. Um, there's where you can save your state. The menu here, click on that. Here you get to load your state, save, manage saves. Uh, you get to go into the options and uh, configure your gamepad. Add an external controller, or if you want to enhance the graphics, you can. Um, I can cover that in another in another sorry tongue tied. I can cover that in another video if you guys want me to. But as for that, that's pretty much going to be it. You can go ahead and click quit at the very bottom. So let's you go back into it, and you can hit continue, and it'll continue from where you left off. So. That's pretty much it for the video. Um, if you guys want me to go over uh, uh, the best settings for the for Drastic, go ahead and leave a like, leave a comment, and go ahead and, sub and subscribe so that when the video does come out, you guys will be notified first. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much how to download the Drastic DS Simulator on Android in 2025. See you guys.